Welcome to the live streaming of Morning Prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church in Tequesta, Florida on this Monday, and it's January 30th. My gosh, we almost got through the month. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> My name is Joan Enskow, and I'm a member of the Good Shepherd Daily Office Team, the ministry that brings you morning and evening prayer. The service is streamed live every weekday morning from nine exclusively on Zoom. And at 10 o'clock, it will become available on all our Good Shepherds uh, places like YouTube, Facebook, and the Good Shepherd itself. Okay, so we welcome you. And um, if you wanna, if you're watching later, uh, be sure to, uh, if you have the time to come in and join us live at nine o'clock and you just go to the, the uh, Good Shepherd online uh, org and uh, scroll down, you'll find a surface leaflet for today's service and look for today's date. Immediately above those surface leaflets, there is an image of prayer books in the pews. Click on the link to join via Zoom and then we'll be alive. Okay, so welcome to those who have joined with me. We have Ian, and we have Bev, uh, Sherry, and Wendy, and welcome so much. And uh, Pam is off with her car today, and so I'm here with Bob, <laughs> and uh, behind me is this beautiful, beautiful uh, quilt that uh, Pam herself has made, so I thought I'd show it off today <laughs> with colors, yes. Okay, so we'll start our morning prayer. Right to. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. The confession of sin, together we recite. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will, walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us and forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Lord, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was as now in the beginning, is now and will ever be. Amen. Hallelujah. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. The Venite said in unison, Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with joy, with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are all the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our maker, for he is our God, and we are his people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today, you would hearken to his voice. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. And Debbie, welcome. So good you could be with us. The two Psalms we will say to recite together are Psalms 56, 57, and we'll pause between them. Have mercy on me, O God for my enemies are hounding me. All day long they assault and oppress me. They bound me all the day long. Truly there are many who fight against me, almost high. 
Whenever I'm afraid, I will put my trust in you, in God whose word I praise, in God I trust, and will not be afraid. For what can flesh do to me? All day long, they damage my cause. Their only thought is to do me evil. They band together, they lie in wait, and they spy upon my footsteps because they seek my life. Shall they escape despite their wickedness? O oh God, in your anger, cast down the peoples. You have noted my lamentation. Put my tears into your bottle. Are they not recorded in your book? Whenever I call upon you, my enemies will be put to flight. This I know, for God is on my side. In God, the Lord, whose word I praise. In God, I trust and will not be afraid. For what can mortals do to me? I am bound by the vow I made to you, O God. I will present to you thank offerings. For you have rescued my soul from death and my feet from stumbling that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Psalm 57. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful. For I have taken refuge in you. In the shadow of your wings will I take refuge until this time of trouble has gone by. I will call upon the most high God, the God who maintains my cause, he will send from heaven and save me. He will come, confound those who trample upon me. God will send forth his love and his faithfulness. I lie in the midst of lions that devour the people. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongues a sharp sword. They have laid a net for my feet, and I am bowed low. They have dug a pit before me but have fallen into it themselves. Exalt yourselves above the heavens, O God, and your glory over all the earth. My heart is firmly fixed, O God. My heart is fixed. I will sing and make melody. Wake up, my spirit. Awake, lute and harp. I myself will awaken the dawn. I will confess you among the peoples, O Lord. I will sing praise to you among the nations, for your loving kindness is greater than the heavens, and your faithfulness reaches in the clouds. Exalt yourself above the heavens, O God, and your glory over all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson is from Isaiah chapter 5. Rouse, your, rouse yourself, rouse yourself. Stand up, O Jerusalem, ye who have drunk at the hand of the Lord, the cup of his wrath, who have drunk to the dregs, the ball of staggering. There is no one to guide her among all the children she has home. There is no one to take her by the hand. Among all the children she has brought up, these two things have befallen you. Who will grieve with you? Devastation and destruction, famine and sore. Who will comfort you? Your children have fainted. They lie in the head of every street, like an antelope in a net. They are full of wrath of the Lord the rebuke of your God. Therefore hear this, ye who are wounded, who are drunk, but not with wine. Thus says your sovereign, the Lord, your God who pleads the cause of his people. See, I have taken from your hand the cup of staggering. You shall drink no more from the bowl of my wrath, and I will put it in the, into the hatred into the hand of your tormentors who have said to you bow down that we may walk on you <laughs> and you have made your back like the ground and like the street for them to walk on the word of the lord 
Thanks be to God. Welcome. Oh, Sherry was here. Yeah, there she is. Welcome, Sherry, for joining us today. Now we'll say together the first song of Isaiah. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore, you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day, you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things. And this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion. Bring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second lesson is from Galatians chapter 4. My point is this. Heirs as long as they are minors, are no better than slaves, though they are the owners of all the property. But they remain under guardians and trustees until the date set by the father. So with us, while we were minors, we were enslaved to the elemental spirits of the world. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, in order to redeem those who were under the law so that we might receive adoption as children. And because you are children, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a child. Even if a child, then also an heir through God. Formerly, when you did not know God, you were enslaved to beings that by nature are not gods. Now, however, that you have come to know God, or rather to be known by God, how can you turn back again to the weak and beggarly, rudimental spirits? How can you want to be enslaved to them again? You are observing special days and months and seasons and years, I'm afraid that my work for you may have been wasted. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now together we say the song of the redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Saying together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness and let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The colic of the day for the fourth Sunday after Epiphany. Almighty and everlasting God, you govern all things both in heaven and on earth. Mercifully hear the supplications of your people. And in our time, grant us your peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A collect for peace. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our, our enemies, that we surely, trusting in you, in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, one of my favorite, favorite prayers, a prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us so love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much we seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ, and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion. Remembering today especially the Diocese of Patna, North India, the Most Reverend Francis Hansda Bishop. <clears throat> We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eason and our companion dioceses. Remembering today, especially the Diocese of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands, the Right Reverend Lodge Zane Boyd Senior Bishop. <clears throat> now prayer for mission. Almighty and everlasting God by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified. Receive our supplications and prayer, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat> we pray for our own parish family and those dear to them. Remembering today especially Ricardo, Rick, 
Kay, Liz, Jeff, Elizabeth, Ray, Bill, Barbara, Linton and Gloria, Simon, Shirley, and Robert. We pray also today for your worship ministries, remembering especially vergers that by their leadership and attention to detail, our worship services may proceed seamlessly, that all who worship at Good Shepherd may feel the presence of the Holy Spirit and lectures that the word of God may be heard, read, marked, learned, and inwardly digested by those who worship with us. A prayer now for a par the parish. Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, restore the penitent, grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. Ian says, he asks for us to pray for our search committee that Good Shepherd may receive a, fa <coughs> receive a faithful pastor who will care for us and equip us for all our ministries. Yes, we do pray for this, Lord. We pray that, that, we, will be, that we will be blessed we be blessed with a caring and loving grace and that he is preparing himself for us. Amen. Okay. Wait a minute. Ian also asks, pray for a good guy's grill steak tonight. Mm, dinner tomorrow night, rather. <laughs> M.A. provide an occasion of Christian fellowship for all who attend. It's wonderful that these good guys get together, and they are good. <laughs> and the yummy steak, yes. Yes, we pray for them. We pray for all, all our services that we have at, at Good Shepherd. There are so, so many. There is a place for everyone. And I pray today for my Excuse me, my, my sister Marianne is preparing for surgery tomorrow for um, getting a cataract done. And my daughter Laura, who's preparing for Tuesday's uh, very difficult surgery uh, on her small, her small intestine. Keep all those who are expecting surgeries or in hospitals healing that the good Lord will put his hand on all, all the, the health team and that only good can happen and that they will all heal in Jesus' name. Okay. Now, a wonderful prayer of St. Christostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church 
and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Now everyone go in peace to love and serve the Lord with great love and kindness. Peace be with you. Amen.